Okay, so Melee have sent me another mini PC and uh, it's also based on the J4125 CPU. So if you wanna see more things that run on that CPU and how well it runs, uh, then have a look at these two videos. The previous mini PC I tried was this one and as you can see, it's very tiny, uh, but we'll get this out of the box and have a look at everything. So here's what comes in the box. I've got a UK adapter because I'm in the UK. It also comes with a European adapter, a little pad for the M.2 drive and some screws. And you can see there's a quick start guide there as well. But have a look at it. It does look very, very cool. And uh, if I put the Quieter 2Q in front of it, they are very different models. So they're running the same processor and lots of similarities. But you can see this has got a very, very big heatsink on the top of it. And it also has an antenna. So if you're worried about Wi-Fi, then uh, this antenna is obviously going to make a big difference to that. Power button on the front. Let's spin it around to the side. You can see there are four USB 3 sockets. That's a headphone socket in the middle there and an SD card slot. And then on the back we've got two HDMIs, an Ethernet connection, a VGA connection, which we didn't get on the Quieter 2, it's just too small, a USB-C connection, and also a 12 volt DC power. And you can see there's a Kensington lock, so if you're using it in professional uh, capacities, then you'll be able to lock it securely. So I plugged it in, I've got the power adapter, the HDMI, I've got my keyboard dongle in the side, so let's switch it on. And as you can see, it's booting Windows 10, just like any brand new computer. So pick your language and follow all the setup procedure. So I'm all booted into Windows 10, uh, and if I type in updates, you'll see that I fully updated it and everything is running as it should. It feels lovely and snappy. I have shown Windows 10 on my previous Melee video only the other day. So if you want to see how it runs the web browser uh, video and also Office and things like that, uh, and a few more games, have a look at that video. But I figured on this one, uh, as I'm a Windows Insider, uh, I figured I'd install one of the new builds. And uh, so I downloaded the ISO from here. You can pick the edition you want and download the ISO, which I've already done. And I've installed it onto one of these Samsung bar USB sticks with Rufus. So let's pop that in. So let's close this down and navigate to the folders. And the USB stick's got Windows 11 on it, which hasn't been released yet, but it will be out fairly soon. So if I right click this and open and double click the setup and yes, you can see it gives me an option to install Windows 11. So we'll help to make the installation better and hit next. So we can accept the license and it's downloaded any new updates that it needed. So let's hit install and just let it do its thing. If it's like the other Melee computer, it just does everything on its own. So you can just let it carry on and fully install Windows 11. And here we are, all installed and all updated. So let's just log in. And I played around with it and I've been trying out several different things and uh, it is nice and snappy and really, really uh, launches everything quickly. So if I was to start typing something like display, you can see it comes up really quick. Uh, say sound, all of it is very responsive. So let's just launch the web browser. Uh, so we do Edge because that comes installed in it and do BBC Sport. And you can see if I load the page, uh, it's nice and fast. And I'm using this on Wi-Fi at the moment. I'm not using uh, Ethernet on purpose. And uh, let's just close that down uh, because I wanted to show Chrome and specifically Stadia. So let's launch that. You can see that Stadia shows up. I've got two games that I've bought on Stadia, so I'm not a Stadia subscriber, uh, but when I, when I did subscribe, I bought two games, and one of them is Trials Rising. So let's hit play on that. And if I press the button on the joystick, there you go, you can see it's linked the controller. I'm using my Xbox 360 controller. And if I press Windows and G, I get the overlay, and it gives you all sorts of information. You can see on the bottom here, uh, the speed of the processor and uh, all sorts of information and also extra little bits to do with gaming. So Windows and G to get rid of that. So because I don't pay a subscription, I only get 1080 streaming. Uh, but it does go right up to 4K if you're paying for Stadia. 
and any games that you bought you can play it at any time on any compatible device. And I've also downloaded Rocket League through the Epic Game Store so I figured I'd have a look at that so let's just quit out of this, let's just close the web browser by searching for it here, there you go, so nice and quick, uh, and Epic Game Store and if we go to library and you can see Rocket League is installed so let's launch that okay so it's definitely running a bit slow so let's go into settings and lower everything as much as we can so we'll drop down to 720 and turn off as many effects as possible that's about that so it feels alright, I, I could definitely uh, lower the desktop resolution of the operating system which would probably help it a bit but this is perfectly playable. I also have Minecraft so I figured I'd have a quick look at that. So here it is. And I haven't changed any settings on this so I'll just leave them as they are. Yeah, seems to look pretty decent really. And as you can see from movement and everything, everything seems to be nice and smooth. Yeah, no complaints with that. And I thought I'd try a Linux distro. Uh, I've got Pop OS downloaded, so if I click on the downloads folder, uh, you'll be able to see it in there. There you go, Pop OS. And I've also got Raspberry Pi Imager, which I use to write it to my USB stick. So basically, Imager, or if I press the Windows key, start typing Imager, it will come up. This is something you can use for Raspberry Pi images, but you can also use it for Windows images as well. So if I do choose OS and scroll all the way to the bottom, hit custom, and you can see Pop OS comes up as an option. Hit open, choose my USB stick. I've got a 64 gig Samsung drive, uh, and I would click on that and then I would hit write. But I've already done it, it's already got Pop OS on there. So what I need to do is shut down. So the USB stick is in here, I want it to boot from that. So let's switch it on, and while it's starting up, keep pressing the escape key. And that gets us into the BIOS. So the default on this is to boot into Windows, which comes installed in this computer. But if you want to run Linux, go to Chipset and Common Function, and then change Windows to Linux. Press Escape. Go to Boot. And then what you want to do is go down to the first option and press Enter. And then select the drive you want it to boot off. In my case, it's this Samsung flash drive. Save and exit. And yes. So you can see that started up, try or install Pop OS. Uh, and if you leave it, it will just boot straight into it. And you can see that's all starting up now. So that's Pop OS started up from the USB stick. And I can use it on the USB stick as normal. So if I press the Windows key, I can start typing, say, Firefox. And you can see it comes up. Or maybe I want to do something with a display. Uh, you can see all of that comes up. But what it wants to do is uh, it really wants to install so I can install this to another drive and I'm going to get better performance if I install it to an SSD drive. So I'm going to do that, uh, but to do that I need to open it up and put an SSD drive in it. Because the only drive in there at the moment is the EMMC drive, which is a 128 gig drive, which has already got Windows installed on. I'm not going to wipe Windows off this because I quite like Windows 11 on it, but I'm going to put Linux on an SSD drive inside the machine. So let's shut this down. I'm going to take out four of the screws on the bottom here and then this bit comes off and reveals the insides of the machine and if we have a closer look inside you can see all the red heat sink uh, this dissipates all the heat from the RAM and the CPU and sends it up to the top and then it comes out through these fins so once again this is a completely silent computer and on the underside of this lid, it's got four screws. So basically the SATA drive fits there. And it actually says SATA here, just to show me where it's supposed to go. So I'm just screwing through into the SATA drive. And those are the four screws that were included in here, I'm guessing. This bit is for putting an M.2 drive in it. There you go, that's the fourth screw. So that's all attached there. So now I need to unstick. Uh, you can see there's a bit of tape holding this down, the SATA connection pop 
these two on and hopefully that will all fit in nicely. Yeah, so that lid goes on nice and securely. There you go, so that's all in there. So I could have put an M.2 drive in there as well and booted from that, but I'm just going to stick with the SSD at the moment. And you can see it comes up with try or install pop OS. So let's hit return. And we're back in. So this is still running from the Samsung bar USB stick at the moment. And now it comes up with install pop OS at the top here. United Kingdom, English UK. And now we've got some options, clean install or custom. I'm going to go with a clean install onto the SSD drive. And you can see it comes up with two options, ATA SATA. So that must be my SSD drive. I hope it is. So let's click on that and erase and install. And you can see it's partitioning the drive, extracting the file. So I'm going to let it do all its thing and wait till this finishes. Okay, so restart device has shown up. So let's try that. And that's started up. So let's log in. And we get a nice welcome screen. And we get different options here, look. So we've got dock goes all the way to the edges. I quite like the look of that. Dock doesn't extend to the edges. Yeah, let's go with that. Show workspaces button, show applications button. So we've got a bit of configuration here as well. And a little bit about how to use the OS. Multi-touch gestures, but I don't think they'll work with, uh, with my touch keyboard, but they obviously will with some others. And I will log into the Wi-Fi uh, rather than use Ethernet just because this has got this nice big antenna on it. There you go. So Internet's connected. I'm happy with location services on. And you've got an option to connect your online accounts uh, just like Ubuntu does. Start using Pop! OS. Let's so check the folders. So let's eject. Uh, this will be the 64 gig Samsung drive. I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to eject that. Oh, there you go, and it comes up, Samsung Flash can be removed. Pop Shop has come up down the bottom here with uh, little notifications, so eight notifications. What's that going to be? Uh, to install or update things. Oh, this all looks very nice. I I'm not a big fan of the background, so I think we're going to uh, change that background. So background. There's quite a lot of backgrounds on here. I think I might try that one. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I do like the way it looks. So here we've got tile windows and various different options. All my network options, sound options, settings. Yeah, very, very logical, very simple to use. Looks really nice. And nice and fast as well, running from an SSD. So here's the applications that come pre-installed, not very many. Uh, nice and basic, so you can put whatever you want in there. So various different system files. Oh, there is an office suite. So if we go for writer. Yeah, and that starts up nice and fast. Yeah, looking good. Right, let's have a look at the specs of this computer. And then I'm going to install a few things, uh, a couple of games on this. There we go, mini PC. Looks like they do a load of them. So the one I've got, PCG35 GLK. And I do like the look of it. I, I do like that heatsink at the top and uh, it does seem to be staying pretty cool. So let's go through the specs. So 64-bit Intel UHD graphics. Uh, so that's on board on the processor. Uh, I've got eight gig of RAM on this model. Uh, Windows 10 was installed. I've since installed Windows 11 and I've now got Pop! OS on an SSD drive, gigabit Ethernet, uh, dual band AC Wi-Fi. I've got 128 gig eMMC on this one, Bluetooth 4.2, uh, fanless so it's silent which is one of the reasons that I definitely jumped at it when I was going to be sent this one. Uh, so 4K60, uh, HDMI 2.0, there's two HDMIs on that as well plus a VGA, so you can use this with three monitors at the same time. So it's M.2 SSD compatible. I haven't put one in there. I've instead gone for the SATA, well, this says HDD. So you can use a mechanical hard drive, but I've gone for an SSD because they're faster. And there's also that extra USB socket, that USB-C socket on the back. So as well as having four USB 3s, uh, it's got another USB socket on the back. 24-7 operation, you can see there uh, with the 
CPU, then that nice heat spreader taking it up to the fins. And the antenna, which is something different to the previous Melee PC, which was integrated. Better and stronger signal to ensure stable performance for online internet connectivity. So as you can see, it's very energy efficient. The uh, J4125 processor, which I had in the other Melee PC, is super cheap to run. So they're showing it there with a mechanical drive and also the M.2. You can put both in at the same time. I'm guessing this bit, yeah, this bit is, um, you've got that little bit of double-sided tape which goes on this, which would then take heat away from the M.2 drive, because M.2 drives do generate quite a lot of heat, but this obviously takes that heat up into the fins, so keeps it all nice and cool. So let's have a look at this app store and try out a few games. So installed comes up here. Oh, so there's updates, oh, 480, uh, 484 uh, megabytes of updates. Let's let it do all that. So all the updates are done. So let's install some games. Let's just have a search and see what's on here. Oh yeah, Stunt Rally. So let's install that. So I've set up my controller to do all the main controls on it. Let's go back and single race. Okay, for some reason it wants to do the brake as accelerate and the accelerate as the brake, but that, that's all right, I'm sure I can work with that. Oh yeah, this is working all right. I put it down to like a medium setting uh, and you can see it looks reasonably smooth. Oh, I remember this being, I, put, I managed to get this on the Raspberry Pi uh, in one of my videos and I remember it being quite twitchy on the controls. Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to. Oh, where's the track? There's the track. I'm under the water here, so if I press accelerate, it will take me out of there. <laughs> or if I don't hit a tree. Let's try another racing game that I really like. Super Tux Kart. There's two of them that look the same. Let's install the top one. So let's give that a try. Because I haven't changed any of the settings, and it seems to be running pretty well. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> this is a very good game and, and works really well on this. Oh, that's a nice view. And I'll put it back into Windows just to show that Windows is still installed uh, on the drive that's built in. So let's do power off. And then when I restart, I need to keep pressing the escape key. So start and then keep pressing the escape key. And that gets me into the BIOS. And from here I can go into chipset and common function and change it back to Windows and then escape and then go to boot and then choose, oh you can see it's labeled it as Pop OS there. Uh, so if I press on the top option and then I just pick Windows Boot Manager and go to save and exit and save that and that will reboot into Windows 11. So once again I'm impressed by how much you can do on these little mini PCs. I really do like the form factor of this one, especially with the extra cooling it's got the extra connections and that Wi-Fi antenna. It is very impressive. And Melee tell me that they're working on i3, i5, i7 and i9 processors. So if you're looking for more power, that's coming in the future. Anyway, I hope you like this, I hope it helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.